Oh, Stop it. No, no, okay. Oh. No, I need to put on a face. She stopped the video and then restarted it. Mariah, Mariah, say hello. Say hello. Would you stop? What, is, what death battle even is this? It's a uh, naked man. Hold on. Check us out. Check us out. Check us out, guys. Oh, I timed that perfectly. <laughs> It's a it's it's death battle in a comic book spy video. <laughs> oh, the new trailer came out, and I I am I still stand by my belief that that Marvel's gonna do Sword. That like they're they're gonna do they're gonna do Sword, and and I feel I feel like they should. Cause Carol Danvers runs Sword right now, even though she's kind of not really part of it, although she kind of is. I don't even know if she's still running Sword anymore. It was Abigail Brand back in the day. For you guys who don't know, SWORD stands for Sentient World Observation and Response Department. What does that mean? They're basically SHIELD, but they monitor space instead of Earth. And, uh, and it's, and it's kind of cool. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot more from this trailer than what we saw before. Uh, but it is, it is kind of cool. Like, the outfits look amazing. Dude, those Avengers outfits look amazing. Those Avengers outfits look pretty badass. And it is, it is pretty exciting. Like, it really, it really is exciting to see the whole thing go down. Although, I will say this. I think, I think they're going to reboot a couple characters. Like, I think they're going to reboot Captain America and, and Iron Man. I was talking to Mariah about this this morning. And it was like, okay. Because, okay, so in the trailer, okay, so in the trailer, like, Peggy Carter is talking. And I, I assume it's just like a memory flashback. But Peggy Carter's talking, and she's like, sometimes all you can do is start over. So I'm just like, there it is. So, like, they're basically, get, like, I think they're going to, I don't know if they're going to reboot Captain America or Iron Man, but I think they're going to write them out. Like, they're going to, because, okay, here, so here's the thing. All right, here's, here's kind of the question that I've been asking. Right, this is the question I was asking this morning. This is what I was wondering this morning. What if the moment in, in Avengers 4 when Doctor Strange told Iron Man, he said, I'm sorry, Tony. But it was the only way. What if it had nothing to do with him giving up the time stone? Like, what, what if what if it had nothing to do with him giving the time stone up and giving it to Thanos? Because by that time, pretty much everybody was gone except for, like, Nebula and I think Rocket. And, like, that was it. And so everybody else was essentially, like, were, was for all intents and purposes just, like, dusted. And so what if Iron Man doing that is basically like, hey, look, man, like... Because here's, here's the thing. If Doctor Strange looked into the future... And, and he saw every possible outcome in terms of like, of whether or not they would defeat Thanos. It means he would have to know like the, the consequences for that outcome, right? Like he'd have to know what would happen after that, right? So like in one scenario, they defeat Thanos and then like Galactus shows up or something. So, I don't know, something crazy, but like he'd have to know what the consequence of committing that act was going to be. And if it's every possible scenario, then that includes like time travel, right? Like the Avengers go back in time and they stop Thanos where they, they, they do something and like the whole timeline gets screwed up. And so it could simply just be one of those things where like they have to go all the way back to like some some point in the distant past and they defeat Thanos but then like then like the questions asked well like what do we do next well then Iron Man starts asking questions like what if my parents didn't die and Captain America starts asking questions like well what if what if like I never I was never frozen in ice and so you literally write them out by having Tony Stark basically say like having it having it done in such a way to where the Winter Soldier never killed Howard and Maria Stark therefore Tony Stark never became the head of Stark Enterprises when he did and like Howard is still running the whole show, which means Tony Stark is doing whatever Tony Stark is doing. And then you have Captain America who is never frozen in ice. He's written out because he's like an old man now, basically. Like the super soldier serum is worn out because in Marvel Comics, it does wear out. Like after, like it's like the infinity formula of Nick Fury, right? Like after a while, it'll just run its course and then it won't work anymore. So like we know that from, uh, no, that was, no, wait a minute. House of M, House of M, Steve Rogers never got the super soldier formula. What story was it where, where like Captain America, where he grew old after the super soldier serum ran his course. Not the, not the, not the Rick Remender run where he lost the super soldier serum, but there was one where the super soldier serum ran his course and he basically got old and like he aged. No, maybe, maybe, maybe it was like earth 98, that one where like, like, you know, heroes aged in real time, but regardless of the situation, like you basically write them out that way. And then in turn, you just kind of go forward and whatever happens, happens. But like, there's, there's so many weird things because like, like we know that Spider-Man Far From Home takes place after Avengers Endgame. Presumably Black Panther 2 takes place after Avengers Endgame as well. And so, like, there's no real reference there. Like, like, there's, like, no one, as far as I'm aware from the trailers that we've seen, no one references Endgame. And the trailers are not, like, the movies, right? It's not like, it's not like we went and sat down and watched the whole, like, Far From Home, uh, movie. And then, oh, speaking of movies, it's not like we saw the whole, uh, Far From Home movie and, like, it was never referenced once or anything like that. Like, just based on the trailer, like, you would think there would be some kind of statement, like, man, dude, good thing we escaped that shit by the skin of our teeth. Mariah!
Mariah. Yeah. Don't forget, we're going to go see us today. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, like it's, I mean, it's, 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 <sighs> It's like, I mean, you would think there would be some kind of a reference there, but as far as, as far as I'm aware, there's not, which means that maybe nobody remembers it. And if nobody remembers it, then what we're looking at is like some, some Secret Wars 2015 slash House of M type stuff, which is entirely possible because that's usually what always happened in Marvel comics. Whenever there was some kind of like universe shattering event or something like that, some shit popped off, things took place, like during the original uh, Infinity Gauntlet story, when everything was fixed, nobody remembered. Like for the most part, well, I'm like, like it was literally let the conflict end and like everything was set back to the way it was before the events of Infinity Gauntlet took place. So like half, no, what was it, uh, like, like, Adam Warlock was just like, undo everything. No, I'm sorry, I think it was Nebula who said undo everything. And basically like, like, with the exception of the heroes who were there, nobody remembered. Like nobody on Earth remembered that it happened. And so it's like, okay, like you could easily pull that off and just say like, like the whole event concludes by whatever man or whatever means. And like, nobody remembers that it took place. Like nobody remembers getting dusted or anything like that, with the exception of like a handful of different people. But that's the issue, is Avengers 4, like like Marvel's literally, literally come out and said Avengers 4 is supposed to set the stage for everything that comes after. And so it wouldn't make any sense to have a movie that like that, that's supposed to set the stage for everything, that ends in such a way that nobody remembers what happened. Because then what's the motivation for setting the stage after that? Like the whole basis behind S.W.O.R.D. is literally like, like the way I would do it, I would say, okay, so like we had the invasion of New York, we had like the, okay, no, you still go, okay, so you can still do the invasion of New York. You can still say, okay, so nobody remembers Infinity War. I'm sorry, yeah, nobody remembers the events of Infinity War or Avengers 4. That was all basically undone, right? Like the movie happened and then it got reset and so it's like the movies never happened. And so then what you do is you say that like in the aftermath of the attack on New York by Loki that, that the federal government creates a branch off called S.W.O.R.D., and they bring in Captain Marvel to run it. But here's, okay, here's what I think. Here's, here's what I think would actually happen. Like, here's, here's my perspective on what would actually happen. Uh, in reality, I don't think, I don't think any, I don't think anybody, like, I don't think anybody wins. Like, I think, I think that the events happen, half the life in the universe is wiped out, and they can't undo it. Like, there's, there's no way to bring back half the people who died, with the exception of the superheroes. And maybe they just, like, travel to the past. Like, they sit down and they realize that there's no way to get these superheroes. Like, there's no way to save these superheroes. So, like, we, we can't bring back, like, Spider-Man. We can't bring back these characters. So there's some time travel shenanigans, and they grab them from the past and bring them to the present and say, okay, now we basically have them back. Like, because what that, what that would do is it would let Marvel... Because, I mean, we know time travel events are going to be part of Avengers 4. It would let Marvel bring back the Avengers who died. The ones that people care about anyway. But it would allow them to bring back the Avengers who died while keeping half the universe dead. Because it wouldn't make any sense to say, like, hey, we're going to undo everything except for, like, all the innocent people. Like, we're only going to bring back the superheroes. Because, you know, reasons. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, you, you can't really do that. It wouldn't really make any sense to the average viewer. But some time travel shenanigans would make it work. And so that, that would explain why you have Peter Parker. That would explain why you have Black Panther, all that kind of stuff. I think that Angela Bassett said that Shuri and like Black Panther's mom survived. Like they lived through the snap. So, so I don't, I mean, I don't know. Like I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Like it's going to be awesome regardless. Like I'm, I'm excited for the movie, but the costumes look badass. Like the costumes look, look freaking sweet. Like I'm, I'm pretty hyped for that whole thing. Again, like I still say, okay. So I'm, so for the most part, like, I've got a working theory on how you bring the X-Men in, right? I mean, like, I've, I've got that, like, I've got that theory pretty much locked down, um, so I'm not really worried about that. My question is a Fantastic Four. How do you bring the Fantastic Four in? Because, assuming, like, all this happens, right? Like, assume that all this stuff happens, right? Like, all these, all these super, okay, assume, like, everything happens with the superheroes, so on and so forth, like, Avengers 4 ends, however it ends, it doesn't matter whether they remember it, whether they don't, it doesn't really matter, but in the aftermath, like, somebody somewhere, like, Nick Fury says, hey, look, like, you know, let's go explore space. Like the act, like you basically act like nothing world shattering happened except for the invasion of New York. Um, with like in the original Avengers movie. So like Thanos never snapped his fingers. Half the life in the universe never died. Technically, Infinity War and Avengers Four never actually happened, depending on how they how they do the whole thing. So then what you do is you say, okay. So they've got sword, and then you tie the Fantastic Four into it. Because here's here's the thing that people get hung up on. And right now, the the Marvel Cinematic Universe is so far from the comics that it's almost not even funny. I mean, with the exception of the characters. There's not really any relation there, right? Like, technically speaking, in Marvel Comics, Thanos is immortal. Like, he's supposed to be immortal. I guess he's not now because his head was chopped off and he was a floating spirit just kind of making his way around. But technically speaking, Thanos is supposed to be immortal. He was banished from the realm of Mistress Death. He was never allowed to enter. That's why when the multiverse collapsed, when everything died, Thanos was just kind of stuck out in oblivion. He couldn't die. Like, that, that, was, that was one of the big points. It's one of the things that was remembered, recalled by uh, Jeff Lemire, I think, during the original Thanos run. So... It's, it's, it's kind of cool because it's like, okay, because technically Thanos, like, technically Thanos was dying. He's not supposed to be able to die. I don't know. It's, 
it's one of those things where like events like that kind of get forgotten. And so it's just, you know, the left handed know what the right hand's doing. But anyway, what you do is you say, okay, so the only earth shattering event that's happened after the events of Avengers 4 and like Infinity War and Avengers 4, because some time travel shenanigans happened, they did, the Avengers did some stuff, they won, but technically the, the events of those movies never happened because of how the Avengers won. The only earth shattering event that ever took place was Avengers, was the original Avengers movie when there was the alien invasion. So Nick Fury recalls Carol Danvers. Uh, she basically, he's like, hey, look, we're going to launch S.W.O.R.D. So you're basically going to like lead this organization that's going to monitor space, right? Like you're going to monitor space and everything that's out there, check out the various threats, so on and so forth which you may have already been doing, but like you say, okay, swords there. And then what you say is we need a team of people who are going to explore space. So like the Fantastic Four basically stow aboard a ship, they fly into space, they get hit with some cosmic rays, they come back and they got all their powers done and done. People get hung up on the idea that the Fantastic Four should be there before everybody else. Like I was going to have to find a way to like throw them in there. And like, we just never knew they existed, but technically you don't really have to, like, you don't really have to do that. It'd be kind of cool if you did, but you don't really have to. Um, but like, that's the way that you throw the Fantastic Four in. And literally just say, okay, like, they have their powers now, and then just go forward from there. But I don't know. I mean, I'll be honest, guys. It really is a crapshoot. There's, like, nothing coming out of Marvel for Avengers 4. It's, like, literally the only thing... I don't care what anybody tells you. IGN, Bleeding Cool, like, all those different websites, like... All the information they come down to, like, here's everything we know about Avengers 4. Basically, like, like don't read those articles, because all it comes down to is, like, a thing is happening. That's basically all it is. They don't know anything. Like, nobody knows anything. Like, it's, it's clickbait. So, like, don't read those articles. All right, they're full of hoo-ha juice. But, but no, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, it's kind of nuts right now. But I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and, yeah, I will catch you all later. Peace.